Hey everyone, this is Sir Al Rashadi here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between security analyst or SOC analyst and cloud security roles. This video was inspired by one of my followers, Joel's. 4077 who asked are cloud security rules similar to SOC rules do they require a lot of additional learning so make sure to watch this video till the end because i'm going to answer these questions so this question has multiple parts first we need to understand what a SOC analyst and cloud security engineer do and what are the differences we'll also take a look at which one takes longer to get into. As a SOC analyst or security analyst, you're the first responder to cyber incidents. You look at the alerts, do the triage, and figure out if an alert is a false positive or true positive. As a security analyst, your job is not just about monitoring systems and taking a look at the monitors and stuff like that. You will work with EDR tools, vulnerability management systems, and SIEM tools such as Splunk, Sentinel, Rapid7, and all these kind of cool stuff. Overall, it's an entry level that doesn't require implementation solutions or designing solutions however since this role is in the blue team you may help the senior engineers or analysts with their incident response plan digital forensic or even threat hunting it all depends on the companies and the way they operate now when it comes to cloud security it's an entire different thing as a cloud security engineer you're not spending your time looking at the alerts or triaging incidents you're not logging to your SIEM tool and going through all the logs and doing investigations. Instead, you're actually responsible for protecting assets within the cloud environment, assessing the risks and finding the gaps in the cloud and filling those gaps. You'll use built-in tools and features in AWS or Azure or Google Cloud to protect those environments from cyber breaches or uh, attacks. You may deploy firewalls in the cloud environment, web application firewall, ensuring storage accounts are uh, protected and encrypted, making sure that all the VMs and hosts that you have in the cloud are not exposed to the internet, and designing and implementing native SIEM tools like Microsoft Sentinel in the Azure, and actually building that whole infrastructure for your company. So you see the difference here is you're more likely to work on designing new solutions. You're working with products. You're not just spending your time looking at the alerts, doing incident response, or running SOC playbooks. That's a huge difference. Hell, sometimes you may end up you doing automation, DevSecOps, and stuff like that. Cloud security, your responsibility is to design, implement, and actually deliver the solutions to the company, and sometimes you need to know about compliance. So once we covered the differences between these two roles, we're going to answer to the question, which one takes longer to get into? The first thing that you need to consider is that both roles require a strong, foundational IT knowledge. Basics of networking is essential. You cannot skip that. You don't need to become routing or switching expert, nothing like that. You don't need to get CCNA to become a cloud security engineer or security analyst. You need to have a solid, strong knowledge in cybersecurity principles and the basics. Like what the hell is cybersecurity? The principles, the frameworks, like you need to learn the grammar of cybersecurity. These are all the basics that you need to have. Now to simply answer your question, cloud security engineering role is going to take longer. And here is why. For cloud security, first you need to understand how the cloud environment works. And it's not just about AWS. You have to have a solid understanding from different vendors, Azure, Google Cloud, all the other cloud providers you need to understand how the system work because if you don't understand something and you don't know what you're dealing with how can you protect it to become a cloud security specialist you need to take your time to understand the basics of the cloud my recommendation is to get yourself a role in cloud engineering role first because that's going to give you actually the experience that you need to understand the whole thing then after that if you feel like you want to do cloud security engineering you can easily make that transition. Honestly, sometimes when you look at the cloud engineering role, by default in the job description, they mention a few things about cloud security that you need to know. So don't pay too much attention to the job role and the name of the role. If you can get yourself a cloud engineering role, in my opinion, you should know cloud security as well. When it comes to security analyst role, this is an entry level role in cybersecurity you can get away with just knowing the basics of IT, networking, knowing the tools and systems the companies are using actually. You don't need to be an expert in cloud, you know, it's different. So in my opinion, you'll get there quicker if you want to become a security analyst. However, the competition is fierce. 
there are more people trying to get into security analyst roles compared to cloud security roles. That's one thing that you need to consider. At the end of the day, these two roles are different. If you're passionate about advancing in digital forensic or incident response kind of thing, definitely security analyst is a good start. It's pure cyber security. You can actually after that transition into pen testing roles or purple team. So the opportunities are vast after that. But if you're more into engineering stuff, designing solutions, implementing solutions, you're interested about automation, DevSecOps, cloud stuff, then starting your journey with cloud and cloud security is a good choice. Either way, at the end of the day, it's all about your passion. Do you like what you're going to do? Do you think you prefer to do incident response investigation or do you prefer to do cloud engineering? I hope this video was informative for you. If you found this video valuable, all I ask is to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.